My next guest says that there may be a coup in the works. I'm joined by Global View columnist Brett Stevens. You can read Brett every Tuesday in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, Brett, this is news that I haven't heard anywhere else. Uh, the last I heard, there was a conflict in the Sinai, a new military chief installed. How do you combine those two things and come out with a possible coup? Well, that was the coup. <laughs> We've had the coup. The coup was Egypt's new president, Mohamed Morsi, member of the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, took the opportunity, political opportunity, or the opening that was presented by this incident in the Sinai in which 16 soldiers were killed to very summarily sack his defense minister, who until a few months ago had basically ruled the country, Field Marshal Tantawi, the chief of army staff, the chief of the navy, uh, the chief of the navy, the chief of the air force. Basically, he uh, decapitated the senior ranks of his uh, of of his military, and he installed his own people. You know, until now we've been saying to ourselves, well, a Muslim Brotherhood government in Egypt isn't such a big deal because, after all, the real power behind the throne is a military that understands the benefit of peace with Israel, that understands the benefit of a strong strategic relationship with the United States. Well, guess what? As of Sunday, that's no longer true. As of Sunday, Mohamed Morsi is a president with full power in Egypt and with his own men in the military. Now, Brett, I'll take devil's, devil's advocate position here. The new military chief says he supports the Egypt-Israeli Accord, uh, is supposedly has a long relationship with the United States military, right. was trained here in the 80s. Um, is this such a, a, a bad thing? Yeah, well, this is exactly what the Obama administration, the way they seem to be consoling themselves. We've known this guy for many years. He trained at Fort Benning back in 1981. Look, that's all probably true, okay? That's not important. What's important is that the president of Egypt has just said to his army, who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. I'm the guy who appoints the defense minister. I'm the guy who appoints the, 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 the chiefs, uh, chiefs of staff. And I can fire them just, uh, um, just as easily. The other thing that um, uh, President Morsi did over the weekend, which was important, is that he revoked this constitutional decree that the army had passed just back in June before Morsi's um, uh, election, which essentially gave the army a constitutional right to uh, or an outsized role over civilian governments. That's gone. So on the one hand, you might say, great, Egypt now has democracy. There aren't some generals waiting in the wings. On the other hand, there is no institutional check on the Brotherhood's power.